Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice. And as they say in YouTube school, I gotta keep telling you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, we are facing a situation here in um, North Africa that once we clean up that, we're gonna go. Okay, we're holding there, that's good. And we're gonna go on the offensive soon there. Hey, few FIFA. Sora, uh, um, um, Sora, what is it? Because uh, I keep wanting to say Sora Alba, but um, Sora, um, Gobra or Aaron Gobra, Sora, um, Sora Aaron, I guess is what that would be. Sure, Django. Have have a good day, or night, or whatever. Okay, we are going to hopefully get in here and okay now. Ready to move. Attack for more than one province. Hold it. There we go, that's in the green there now. And no, that is stalling out. Nope, that didn't do it. Now, how are we doing down here? Okay, you're here. Ready. Kill this Italian armor unit. How are we doing down here? Okay. Um... This one. Fall in. We come up to there. Bonds. We've Fall got their in. port. Come on, so we're doing okay in Ethiopia, Abyssinia. Um, well, we're playing as Britain, and we're playing as Churchill's Britain, so I don't think so. Sorry, not this time. We're playing what Churchill would do. Churchill... Yeah. But we're doing what Churchill would do, and Churchill wouldn't like that. Oh, well, we're going to... Uh, once the Dutch come into the war, we're going to do everything we can to help them out. Most assuredly. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting some more units here. That may help us push the Germans out and free up our fleet that's still trapped. Okay, mountain division. Ready to move. One to there. Ready. One to there. Okay, good. We killed that pocket. Attention. Well. No, you come here. You come there. And it looks like the Italians have abandoned the front. Maybe because they saw that we've taken the... the killed the pocket. Don't think it's worth fighting for. We 
yes, we are advancing. Orders. Ah, Tunisia has been has capitulated. Okay, so our ally of French Tunisia, as, as it were, has gone. But we're going to push the Italians from this end. As you can see, we're doing a lot of engagements here. Those are air battles. Against various things. Okay. HQ radios, that's good. Why are they the red? It looks so gross. Um, what red? Not sure. We um, Romania wants to give us trucks and mountain warfare equipment. Sure, we'll take that. And the British Raj, sniper section and mountain warfare equipment. Good. Yep, you can do that in Kaiser, right? You can do a lot of interesting things. Um, that's something I do need to learn more about. Come on. Okay, you guys are important. No good. Okay, well, yep, yeah, let's do radar. That will help us out. We've got all of these forces here waiting to move up and help the Dutch and Belgians. Belgians. I'm hoping to hold, if I can get up here and hold enough, sort of hold this line here. I'm going to let that part of the Netherlands go bye-bye. No point in trying to hold it. Okay, um, light infantry. You move through the desert here. Cavalry brigade, you come up along here. Pursuit. We are, yes, trying to do some good up here. Orders. I don't know if you've seen um, on Somalia, if you've seen a recent map of what is actually happening in Somalia. Um, very interesting, I was looking at this. Um, this, of course, was called um, British Somaliland. Now it is called Somaliland. They've declared their independence, but basically no other governments recognize them. But they are the most stable part of Somalia, and it is, in my opinion, directly because of British colonialization. English is sort of the second language after Arabic or whatever that's sort of spoken locally. This part that's still here, that's still green basically, maybe down in this province, is called Puntland. I don't know if they're really actually trying to break away or not, but that's where all the Somali pirates were coming from. Um, but they basically control there. Then the then down here you have the mix of the Somali central government, which holds pockets, basically, in some regions. And then uh, Al-Shabaab and some other ISIS-aligned factions are all fighting in here. So where the Italians colonized down here completely messed up completely messed up um, how big is this problem it's big okay now I'll come here I didn't really want to attack across the water but oh well ah ha ha Yeah, Somaliland is doing doing fairly well as a country in Africa, or countries in Africa. They have their own currency now. Um, their armies are doing much better. And 
Somalia itself is still a failed state. And the only reason the central government in Somalia is still functioning, you know, in, in Mogadishu and such, is because of Kenyan and other um, mostly African nations nowadays. Um, other troops are, are in um, the region, uh, or in, in that southern part of... Okay, killed our subs. Um, and that's the only reason they're doing reasonably well. Is because outsiders are helping support Somalia. I haven't played that mod yet. Sometime, likely. Want to do one of the modern day mods. Okay, Hungary demands Transylvania. They want to get the vampires. Soviet Union and Finland have declared a white peace. Okay. See, now it was Hungary's secret weapon they wanted to have. I guess they didn't get it. It was to get all the vampires on their side to go in and um, defeat the Soviet Union. Oh, lots of stuff here. Okay. Um, Emergency Powers Act. An act to confer on His Majesty certain powers which it is expedient that his majesty should be enabled to exercise in the present emergency and to make further provisions for the purpose connected with the defense of the realm pass the act negative 300 political power manpower ooh, 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 we need the manpower even though we've gotten much better now that that change laws to war economy which i think we already have um don't we already have we already have war economy okay um, yes, um, add extreme draft. Beautiful population factory output. Uh, okay, well, or don't pass it. Well, I think we're going to pass it because I could use that manpower. I'm only take the political power hit. I think it'll go back to zero, I think. Maybe they're doing the Kaiser Reich thing. Oh, we're getting... Rick, you're not in the spirit of this. We're doing Churchill's War. That's the title of the series. Um, Churchill was an imperialist. We're going to try to maintain the British Empire. That's the plan. Um, other games, that would be a different, different thing. But this is Churchill's War. Yeah, um... It probably was better under the commies, though I would say like Ethiopia is much better now that it's no longer under, um, uh, what was it, Mengistu or whatever. That was a weird thing. Yeah, um, Somalia, Somalia is a failed state. Um, you've probably seen some of my more controversial episodes where I praise colonialism and say that some colonial powers did much better than others. Oh, you want to see who we can? Well, yeah, we could do that quickly. Um, ah, yes, this is the um, famous speech. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many long months of struggle and suffering. You ask, what is your policy? I can say it is to wage war by sea, by land, by and air with all of our might and with all of the strength that God can give us. Um, okay, so well, we could have just done this, maybe. Manpower boost, national unity. Um, fascist sympathizers arrested. From May 22nd of May, the authorities began interning prominent f um, fascists under the Defense Regulation 18B, including Mosley and 780 members of the BUF. The British Union of Fascists was disbanded. Yes, we want to do this. We'll use some manpower, I guess, but yes, we want to do this. 
and Romania rejects hung Hungary's demands. That is an interesting bit of thing there. Um, what we could free, um, let's see, um, occupied territories. Um, well, we could free our Ireland, the, or the northern bit of it, of course. We could release Palestine, Egypt, Israel, Jordan, Kenya. Um, uh, this is um, uh, the Sultanate uh, here of Socotra and basically um, South Yemen. That's what we could release, at least so far in the game. Oh, the Dominion of Newfoundland. We set that up to release it or um, give it to the Canadians. There may be an event. Um, the Dutch, yeah, um, they weren't so bad. Um, because I've talked about how terrible the Belgians were. They were just god-awful. They were probably about the worst. Italians, and I don't mean just, the Belgians were both cruel and bad administrators. Like, say, the Italians, I don't know that they were particularly cruel or particularly evil, but they just weren't very good at um, inclusiveness, to use a modern term, of bringing the locals into the administrating, uh, administration and training them up to be part of the modern world. Um, let's first get through um, defeating Germany before we start going after the Soviet Union. Uh, if this game is good and sensible and lasts long enough, that is something I'm very much I will consider. But um, as with lots of Hearts of Iron games, oh, I don't know, um, the U.S. will end up declaring war on us or something and, uh, you know, goes off the rails. So I don't know. And the Dutch did fairly well with, um, the, you know, Indonesia, I think at least. Um, so, yeah, they weren't so bad as colonial overlords. I still think the best colonial overlords, well, probably the best colonial overlords is the United States. And you can look at see what we did in the Philippines particularly. And still to this day, although they are American citizens, um, Puerto Rico, um, not an American state, but and these people can't, they can vote in like the, the local governor's election and the local mayor's election. But they can't vote in the presidential election because only people living in states get to vote for presidential elections. Meaning the people in Washington, D.C., just that live in the little Washington, D.C., if you live there, you don't get to vote for president. You can vote for an um, observer to the um, House of Representatives, um, but he, does, he or she doesn't get to vote. Same, Puerto Rico also has an observer in the House of Representatives, but they don't get to vote. Um, but if a Puerto Rican moves to a state, most of them are moving to Florida, but if they move to a state, then they can immediately vote. Um, so if they're a resident, a resident in a state. So they are citizens of America, but not really part of America. Um, they're still our colonial possession. Um, but you can see how well we did with the Philippines. I think very well. I think brought it out of um, the sort of um, really bad elements of the Spanish Empire. Oh, yeah, Suriname. Um, Suriname hasn't done so well. Um, it's, I don't know what it's doing recently, recently in the last five or ten years, but before that they've had, I know, some um, sort of murderous communist wackos in, in charge. And um, how shall I say this? Some people I knew, I don't want to claim friendship or knew them that well, but some people I knew were sort of involved in going in and taking a look and sort of helping with the um, situation there. I think um, British, um, what is it, Guyana here, is doing much better as a country. And of course, this is still part of France. This is still part of metropolitan France to this day. This is where the French launched their rockets into space from. It's better to launch your rockets closer to the equator than above. That's why we do it down here in Cape Canaveral is our sort of southernmost truly United States region is why we have our main rocket launching program there. Maybe that's why Britain doesn't do too much rocket launching because they're too far north and they've lost all their good colonies. And saying that is how I'm sort of pro-colonialism um, doesn't mean that I don't understand 
why um Ready, sir. okay now that you have friends Ready, sir. um why people i can understand why people want to get their independence Come too on. that makes perfect sense to me why people want to get their independence from britain All in. but that doesn't mean just because it it or was a colony that it's a bad thing. Yeah, sir, no, well, I, I, you know, for a while they weren't doing so well. Um, I can't recall the details. Sure, radio is great. All the details right now, and yes, great. But some of the Suriname stuff wasn't doing so well. At least I don't think so. Okay. Yes, sir. You start attacking those guys. You keep moving up here. Move out. They may be doing much better now, but. Stop it. You're going to lose. Back. Yeah, just defend. Okay, well. How can I swear to so you? go up to Alquila. You come Move here. Out. And then. Down there, I think. Ready, coming straight sir. there. Orders. Okay, branch inner operations. It's sort of like combined arms. I under. I'm guessing. I'm understanding. So we, yes, we will do assault breakthroughs. The more tactics we can accumulate, the better we will do. How are we doing up here? The Germans have not reached the Maginot line like they did uh, that other thing. Now, okay. We're getting our mountain troops Ready, in place. Who's been able battling it out? Okay. Well, our air power is striking at their ships. That's good. Okay, improved compu computing machines. Uh, hmm. We still don't even have universal radios around. Um, now, let's come here. I'm 1940, so we could do better tanks. Bren gun carriers. Or oh, we can come over here and start doing yes. Let's do light artillery carriage up to upgrade. Well currently, front lines, um, Germany has this much of Norway. Holding along the Maginot line and they've yet to declare war against the Dutch or the Belgians or the Luxembourgers. Italy has pushed this far into France. Italy has um, taken Tunisia and pushed the French out, and we are pushing here. into there. Come on, I know it's rough terrain. Get your mountain troops. There's naval battles going on out there. And we're doing the monthly save. Okay, um, 
Oh, they come out as well. You attack there. I'll flank them. Another ace pilot promoted. Good. Come up. You keep pushing there. You attack there. So, well, Move you out. attack there with the armor, with these guys. Now you Move come out. here. Push them out from the rear. French can hold the front for a while. Okay, good. Finally, all these guys here. Two German divisions. And we're striking with all kinds of support. We should have air power supremacy here. No, we don't. Okay, does that mean we need more air units up here? How is our basing here? Um, well, we can put in more air here. Okay, good. I think they've killed off a fair amount of we have better fighters here. Yes. You come in, ground attack, you come in. Ground attack and you do various air superiority type operations. You get in there. So winning the air over France, which is good. And we're mix okay, well let's see here these guys. They'll probably get well, I know they'll get better air coverage if we move them further forward. Yes. Well, um, let's leave these guys. Well, no, these guys we should move to here. Large artillery factories. Good. That will help. Production. Um, as well. Yeah, we're, we got to get them out of Norway. That is most assuredly. Um, because this is my main British fleet and it is trapped up there. Until I get Christianstadt, I can't get them out. So I've got to or I'm going to lose 95 vessels. That is a lot to lose. Okay, well, let's see how we're doing on production needs. Okay, sniper section, yes. Mountain warfare, we need more of that. And HQ radios, we need. Okay, let's do some of those productions. So, um, HQ radios, yes, one there. And let's, we got, no, we got that. Let's do another mountain warfare once we get the factory there we go nope. that didn't work let's try here what are we fighting against here Oh, we're fighting against three divisions. No wonder why we didn't win that there. Gotta let these guys get 
reorganized up. But since we have that those Dutch units there. There we go. Everybody all at once. Overwhelming firepower. Come on. Take them down. There's just two divisions. Only two divisions, people. Oh, that didn't work. How are we doing down here? Okay, um... Yes, this is good. That's right. You attack there. You attack here. And you attack again up there. I think you already did attack, but... to surround these guys but the treaty of Kariova more concessions have been forced on Romania with the kingdom of Bulgaria claiming the south the Borgia if I'm mispronouncing that badly the territory annexed by Romania in 1913 after the second Balkans war still mostly populated by ethnic Bulgarians and Turks regardless of reasons Reasoning Romania now stands significantly weakened. Well, they did keep the Transylvania. I don't know why the Bulgarians want more Turks. I thought Bulgarians didn't like Turks. Okay, well, let's try this. Let's all attack into the fort. Oh, well. Uh, never give up. We shall. We shall not flag nor fail. We shall um, go on to the end. We shall fight in France. And so that, I guess, uh, um. there and keep advancing here and you can advance here and you're going to do a spoiling attack there pin them basic sonar well good let's look at what other ship 99 days, 84 days. That'll be good. I'll go after all those German subs more effectively. So great. Move out. Listen up. We are pursuing them. See, they're attacking there, so we're going to counterattack. That may be the key here. Oh, 
Also that it's made so the weather's better. Oh, they pushed us out of there, did they? Okay, well, let's re-attack there. Spoiling attack to hopefully get into here. German pressure towards the Benelux. Uh oh, we're looking like we're getting ready for the um, uh, around Maginot line situation, and that will be. That's what I've been keeping all of well, all of the yeah, come on, all of these come units on. here waiting to deal with Germany coming around there. Notice there are a few German units down here now. They've come in and helped the Italians out. Well, I think at this point, before that starts, we're going to end this episode. Um, so let me do that. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. And, of course, if you haven't already subscribed yet, please do. Or follow me on you on um, Twitch. Um, and, of course, please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. I love hearing from all of you, whether here or on Twitch. Thanks so much. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.